So it seems like I'm having some internet troubles. And I apologize for that, everybody. So it says the blood feud between humans and vampires has spanned the entire history of Nosgoth. Indeed, it can be noted as one immutable trait. Vampires have already preyed upon humans since the time immortal. Immemorial. Immemorial gods drinking their blood, violating everything that it is to be human. In human eyes, every vampire is the abomination worthy only of extermination. Thousands of years, thousands of years on from their ancestors attempted on to eradicate the race of vampires from Nazgoth, the remaining humans have been paying the price for, for that war ever since. Split into desperate communities, often without any communication, human communities develop their own identity. Accents, fighting styles, and skills varied from settlement to settlement. Forced from warriors, uh, forced from warriors and vampire hunters into being slaves and food for their masters, humans eked out a miserable existence. Generations of humans were reared by vampires and blood farms, the numbers tripling or more each generation, and the ease in which each vampire could feed grew. Newborns were denied light, taken at birth from breeding pens and drained until they were near death before being allowed to recuperate. However, the vampire civil war took more and more of the vampire's attention, and the humans seized the chance to regroup. Growing in number, stealing new technologies and alchemy, and rediscovering lost techniques and weapon making, humans have now expanded from rough villages to retake and reveal their lost cities. Those humans who survived battle with their former masters passed their skills and experience onto the new generations. So it was that a new human army came into being, fighting for the same cause as those in eras past, the utter extinction of the vampire race. Alright. Let's see what's going on. Buddy sent me a message. <laughs> Very funny, my friend. Very funny. <laughs> Check out these other players real quick. Oh, here we go. Freeport, let's kill some freeps. All right, let's see who I'm playing in this match. In this match, I will be playing the scout with the default bow and all the default weapons, throw knives and volley. And I'm going to switch to my So with your regular bow, you can charge your attack. 
and essentially snipe out the enemy. us. Well, I guess we're rocking each other. So now it's all even. So that weapon, or the, the, the ability volley I just used, is really good for... Well, what you see upon me right now. Where'd that guy go? Knives does. Dang. I didn't hit him with my knives. Now knives, when it hits, it uh, actually stuns the enemy for a couple of seconds. And I'm doing terrible, of course. Go to throw a volley to see if I can catch the enemy. And beware of the volley. Because if you catch yourself in the volley, you will... yourself so be careful okay we need to gather together we need to regroup <laughs> he was gonna die, so I threw the volley down because I figured he might try to kill me or try to take my blood. And I was right. Now I'm doing absolutely terrible as a scout, but please don't let it uh, diminish from you what could be the most powerful class ever play. Too many. Just too many at once. It's just impossible. This is a good team. They're catching us. Uh, they're catching most of us by ourselves. So that, what you just saw, is probably the the typical cookie cutter tactic of all sentinels. They pick you up, they drop you, they bomb you, and then slash you to death. So, oh, uh, they're just wrecking us, or at least wrecking me. Need to be in a better spot.
War Alt. I think I've made a single kill. Nope. Absolutely terrible. Look at that. One kill, eight deaths. Just <laughs> the team was either that good or I just I was just that bad. And I really don't know. So, once you jump off a ledge, or an edge of some sort, hit the jump button again, and it allows you to start flying. Now, flying is excellent for one thing, you get to scout the enemy. Now, if you're a retard like me, that doesn't do you any good. However... Your friends will follow. Dive bomb like that with the F. It's going to be pretty effective. And then, uh... You hit the Q to, the to use your swing, uh, wings to sweep them off the ground. Which I will try to show you here in a second. Like so. Disables them, however, that just damaged me way too much. But, whatever. You got the gist of it. Leave none alive. Uh, enough playing around. Let's see if I can do any better for you guys. I hope they got him. That's not good.
Yeah. You know, the one thing that uh, Sentinels are truly known for, I'm gonna try to attempt, but I fail every time, which is the grab. See? Failed. Jump off up the freaking wall. That is great. But there you have it. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> no, it's terrible. I'll try it again, but I fail. Like, I fail. Seriously, I'm trying to get out the fucking door here. Ridiculous. How could I not get out the door? But anyways. No quarter. Leave none alive. Just climb up, jump off, hit space, you're flying. You're flying, you're flying. Oh I got somebody. No. 